Over the next hour, you will be asked to imagine yourself in the role of an early childhood educator who has only been working at this facility for a few months. As you make your way through various scenarios, you will be asked to make decisions that affect the outcome. There are support materials available throughout this learning experience to help you provide thoughtful responses to the questions you will be asked to answer. As a result of this learning experience, you will be able to describe the five types of abuse, explain when you are required to make a report of suspected abuse or neglect, identify resources that can help you better recognize signs of abuse or neglect, and take effective action to protect children. We all may have different reasons for coming to the early childhood profession. All of us who work with children know that the early formative years have profound effects on how a child's life will unfold. During these early years, our role as caregivers include being not only teachers but also protectors, which means that it's our responsibility to provide not only a nurturing environment in which children can grow and learn, but also one that is safe from harm. A child's early years are a particularly vulnerable period, in part because young children often cannot stand up and protect themselves or even tell us if they're in harm's way. You know your reason for being here. It's because you really care about the health and well-being of children. Protecting a child from harm can be one of the most important things you ever do. This includes being on the lookout for child abuse and being ready to act when children need you. As an early childhood practitioner, you are a mandated reporter when you suspect abuse. This program will help you better understand not only the crucial role you play in protecting young children, but the profound impact that you can have by asking the right questions and knowing what to do with the answers. I can't tell you when it began. The memory is blurry. When I was a kid, my uncle was my favorite person in the world. He gave me more attention than my dad did. Took me to the park, to the football games, to the movies, bought me gifts. Now I know that that should have been a red flag to someone, but nobody seemed to notice. When my uncle started touching me, I was too young to know that what he was doing was wrong, and I liked that he was giving me so much attention. But as it went on, I started to feel bad. I started to get all these stomach aches and headaches. I get angry over nothing than over everything, and I didn't know why. Then when I finally did say something, nobody would listen. I don't know why, but it felt like it was because they didn't care. And that made me confused about whether or not what he was doing was wrong. My uncle hurt me a lot with the things that he did. And I still struggle with so many of the things in so many aspects of my life. School, relationships, the sense of who I am. I struggle with trusting others and with the bad habits I picked up to ease the pain, to run away from remembering. And every day I wonder how my life could have been different if someone had helped me escape the abuse. It's like I dialed 911, but nobody listened. Instead, they just hung up. I wonder how many kids my uncle hurt, and if anyone listened and helped them. I know now it was because my mom was an alcoholic and that she herself was abused as a child. But back then, I don't know, I just, I thought I was bad and deserved to be hit or locked in a closet or not allowed to eat dinner. If I didn't do exactly what she wanted or me and my brother started acting up, she just <laughs> caught fire. And we were the fuse, you know? Most people just thought my mom was one of those people who ran a really tight ship. 
and a lot of them made comments about how well behaved we always were. I kind of wonder if those people who saw the bruises on the back of our legs or how withdrawn we were just thought it wasn't their place to step in. What people really need to know is that all it takes is one person to make the world of difference. For me and my brother, it was a Sunday school teacher. She asked me one day how I got those bruises on my legs. And um, I don't remember how I answered, but she must have seen something on my face because she asked me. She asked me if I ever didn't feel safe with the people taking care of me. <laughs> and I'm sure I never told her my mom was hurting us, but the teacher told me years later she just had a feeling in her gut that something was wrong and that she knew she had to do something to get others involved to make sure me and my brother were safe. What she did was save my life and my family. She made a report and the abuse finally stopped. <laughs> she cared enough to report her concerns and my mom got some help. And that cycle of violence that had been in my family for generations, the violence that hurt my mom and then hurt us, it stopped for good. If you don't protect me, who will? <laughs>